Hey guys, Zot here with another meta update. This time we're going to be discussing a change that's been going slightly under the radar, and that's the nerfs to the mana cost of purge abilities. We're going to discuss this in depth and cover the changes this is going to have on the meta. We saw a 60% mana nerf to dispel magic, which is of course the priest purge, as well as a flat 50% nerf on all shaman's purge effect. This nerf puts both shamans and priest purge at a 1600 mana cost. So let's first start with the priest purge, dispel magic. With priest healing specs being so weak currently in the meta, this won't have that much effect. Although for the few priests managing to still do well as either RMP or jungle for instance, this will help to promote a lot more of an offensive playstyle, being able to purge a lot more and not having to worry about the huge mana cost of the ability. But where we're really going to see this buff shine is on Shadow Priests. Shadow Priests are the only hybrid that didn't get their mana regeneration nerfed in the recent PvP hotfix. And with a 20k mana pool and 1.6k mana cost, coupled with the rate at which you regenerate mana, means you can pretty much purge to your heart's content. If you combine this with hallucinations being baseline for Shadow now, you should be pretty much adding dispel magic to your rotation. So, for instance, just get your dots up, void bolt off cooldown, and then if there is ever a buff on the enemy, simply purge it. This change is beyond broken for Shadow Priest. For instance, check this short clip and focus on my mana bar. I'm managing to maintain my void form whilst purging every single one of the druid's hots on our focus target, which is the rogue. This change also comes at a time where both druids and mistweaver monks are so prevalent in the meta both of which rely heavily on their healing over time effects. Mistweaver Monk has Renewing Mist and Enveloping Mist, and Druids have both of their Rejuvenations and free stacks of Life Bloom that you should now always be aiming to purge. This not only does the obvious thing of reducing their healing, but these hots also cost a lot of mana to apply, and with most games in the meta ending on mana, this is the fastest way to now Uma heal up. You can even take this a step further and focus on purging Restoration Shaman's Tidal Wave procs as well as Holy Paladin's Light's Grace. But yeah, look to just focus more on incorporating Dispel Magic into your rotation as a Shadow Priest. Restoration Shamans also benefited greatly from this buff. They're probably joint with Paladins for having the least mana issues. This purge change just helps them remain aggressive constantly being able to spam purge in both 2v2 and 3v3 whilst they're ahead. This will for sure help restoration shamans push ahead in the meta, allowing them when paired with aggressive setups to easily help secure kills on restoration druid or mistweaver teams. As for elemental and enhancement shamans, it's just a tiny buff, allowing them to simply purge a little more than they usually was able to. Despite that, they're still going to end up struggling with mana due to the regeneration nerfs, so not all that of a huge deal. But to summarise, this change was a huge buff to Shadow Priests, as well as to also to Restoration Shamans. Disc and Holy Priests will also benefit from this eventually, but they still both have bigger underlying issues until they can become relevant in the meta. But as soon as they get some healing or survivability buffs, this priest will be abusing this change just as much as Shadow is currently now. So expect to see some Shadow Priests and Restoration Shaman comps doing a lot better on ladder and tournament play when up against Restoration Druids or Mistweaver Monks. Okay guys, thanks for watching this quick meta update. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to plus skill and leave a comment. 